the team. This is me uh, after scoring a goal, very exciting. Um, but so then, as you heard, um, I, I didn't think anything could be more, you know, I'm still trying to do um, unconventional stuff. And I get this call about the Rand Paul for President campaign. And I'm not a political guy. Um, I'm I just like the, you know, just like the two you heard earlier. I'm not Republican, I'm not Democrat, I'm a capital L libertarian. Um, but I went to meet him anyway, and he said, you know, I want to create the most techni technology savvy campaign in history, <coughs> not just presidential campaign, but completely. So I said, well, that seems like a good challenge. I'm willing to, I'm willing to take that on. Um, I went through like a two month vetting process, and throughout the whole thing, nobody ever asked me about my politics, which I thought was really odd. You know, so in the last interview, with the campaign manager, I said to him, you seem to be dancing around this question of my politics. Do you want it on my politics? And he said, yeah, what are your politics? And I said, well, I'm a capital L libertarian. And he said, oh, good, so is Rand. And I said, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> Which I don't think he got, this you know, really kind of a dig. But um, they hired me, and uh, I didn't know, there's a lot of stuff I don't agree with him on. Most of the stuff I do, because he, he is libertarian for the most part. I didn't think I'd be drinking the Kool-Aid, but within two weeks of my getting there, he did that ten and a half hour filibuster against the NSA. And I'm like, wow, this is you know, this guy's great, he's inspiring, it's terrific. And you know, then he actually and his staff mostly started asking me about policy stuff. They actually wanted to know what I thought, you know, about net neutrality, what I thought about um, cybersecurity and, and stuff like that. And you know, what I said was, you know, the biggest threat to this country is not China, it's not North Korea. It's our own government putting exploits in our stuff, you know. And and, and he agree. He, he, you could tell he agrees with that by the uh, by his filibuster. And um, you know, we talked about bug bounties earlier. I think they're very effective. I'm a big fan of bug bounties. It's sort of like the experience I had growing up. Um, and I said, you know, why why doesn't the government have bug bounties on government systems? That's the way to, to get rid of all the exploits. So it's been a wild ride. I'm learning all kinds of new lingo, uh, working on this campaign. I had to learn about FEC rule. And you can imagine the data issues when you have literally a database of every single voter in the country and, and, and all kinds of consumer data around that. And when somebody but donates, you know. Questions? Yeah. Uh, yes. So. Let's do that. All right, uh, first question for, uh, for Ron. Nobody? Oh, that's yeah. Do they call you Ron Paul's Ron? <laughs> well, it's Rand Paul. Oh, it's Rand Paul. That's right, his father is Ron Paul. Yeah, he does talk. I like it's funny when he says, oh, my dad said this and my dad said that. It's very funny. But yeah, it's, it's been definitely interesting. So now looking back, do you regret at 14 not going ahead and entering uh, NYU at that time? Sometimes I do. Um, you know, I feel like the high school was actually a waste in terms of learning for me and stuff like that. But um, it worked out for the best. So who knows what would have happened if I went the other route? I may not be where I am today. 